Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. I wanted to make a quick update video just to let you guys know how I'm progressing as far as my weight loss and everything for the Navy. It's been 23 days since I started uh, working out and uh, dieting and everything. As of today, um, I've lost over 12 pounds, 12.4 pounds if you want to get technical. I'm now down to uh, 36 inches around the waist. That's pretty amazing considering that almost a month ago, I was at uh, 220 pounds, which uh, is pretty heavy for me. And uh, now I'm down to a much uh, svelter, 207.6 pounds. And uh, my overall goal is to get to uh, at least 205 pounds in uh, the next 10 days. Yeah, I've definitely noticed uh, some actual physical changes. I really didn't think I would actually notice anything if it was just like 10, 15 pounds. I might feel a little lighter, but I wouldn't actually look different. But it's mostly my face, I think. At least that's what my mom says. You know, my double chin is kind of disappearing, slowly but surely. I can now fit into a size 34 jeans, which uh, I haven't been able to do since high school. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. You know, like I said, I'm still going to keep on, uh, you know, exercising twice a day and uh, eating right. So that way I can uh, make the 205 mark and hopefully lose even a little bit more weight or a little more weight. Yeah, so uh, the next time I go up to MEPS, which should be in about 10 days, I should uh, definitely be uh, qualified. Yeah, sorry for not uh, blogging and vlogging as much as I used to. You know, I've been working out, doing a lot of stuff, so it's it's been kind of hard. Plus, I really haven't had too much to talk about. I mean, my basic day consists of uh, getting up, weighing myself after I go to the bathroom, weighing and measuring around my waist now that I have a... Uh, flexible measuring tape, I guess, cloth measuring tape, whatever. <laughs> then uh, just exercising in the morning, then eating after I'm exercising, after I'm done exercising, then wait until about an hour after supper, then exercise again. It's been doing pretty good for me. Also, I've been getting a, one heck of a workout shoveling out all this friggin' snow. <laughs> if you guys live in uh, on the East Coast or uh, you live in the Midwest, you definitely know what I'm talking about. You know, it's been just friggin' crazy around here with all the snow and it's just uh, it's killing me. But hey, you know, it's also helped me lose a couple pounds, so, you know, it's not all bad. At this rate, I should be in the Navy very soon. And uh, as I said in my some of my previous videos, I hope to get stationed uh, in Japan for my first overseas assignment. I'm also considering uh, South Korea as an alternative if, I, if for some reason I can't get stationed in Japan or they don't need me or whatever. There's a whole bunch of variables going on that I'm not, you know, fully aware of. Yeah, I'm hoping to get stationed uh, in Japan, prefer preferably the uh, Yokosuke, uh, or Yokosuka, I think it is. Yeah, Yokosuka Station, which is uh, the main station, I believe. And is also uh, one of the towns that the, uh, the late, great Roger Swan visited back when he was Tokyo Swan. It was uh, the real-life Shenmue episode. I'll put the link up that in the sidebar so you guys can kind of see what it's like. So, I mean, it's it's a really nice place. It's got a lot of uh, Japanese-y things, like really tall hills, really tall, like, grass hills, you know, with the roads and stuff. You know, it, it's a big place, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly big, I don't think. I mean, like, it's not like I'm being plopped straight into Tokyo or anything. Or am I? No, I'm not. You know, I'll still get the, uh, the Japanese experience. And the cool thing is, um, I'll probably probably be uh, one of the few foreigners there that are there and they're not a student and they're not teaching English and they don't have their uh, coveted bachelor's degree, at least not yet anyway. But yeah, my basic plans are, t for now, as you guys know, they tend to change a lot, continue to work out, lose weight and everything, get qualified for the Navy, and uh, once I'm qualified, figure out when I'm going to uh, ship out for basic training. Hopefully they'll give me several months. So that way uh, I have plenty of time to work out. Not to lose weight, per se, but to just get my body in shape. Because even though I've lost uh, a significant amount of weight, I don't really feel that my body's exactly uh, boot camp ready, if you know what I mean. Then after... Um, I figure out my ship out date 
and uh, I'll just basically be working out as much as I can. I might get a job, it, it's debatable. You know, we'll see where it goes from there. Then, you know, once I show back to basic training, just uh, do the basic training for uh, eight weeks, nine technically if you count processing week. Then go to A school, which I think could range between three to four months. And I believe I'm going to the uh, Pensacola one in Florida, if I remember right. It's either that one or I'm still staying at uh, Great Lakes in Illinois. So pretty sure it's Pensacola, but, you know, it might be Great Lakes. Hopefully Pensacola, because I, I like the warm weather. <laughs> then after A school, you know, hopefully get shipped out to Japan and uh, stay there as long as I can. And uh, after I serve my uh, four years of active service in Japan, hopefully for all of them, um, I'll be able to use the uh, GI Bill to uh, finally go back to college. Since I'll be in the Navy, I'll also be able to take a lot of uh, college level courses, which uh, they also give you uh, college credit for. So um, I won't have to spend another four years in college. And plus, also, you know, including you know, my credits from ITT Tech and even Urbana, because uh, while I'm in the Navy, I'm going to try to allocate a certain amount of my pay towards, you know, my debts which include my college debt. And uh, since most of my expenses will already be covered by the Navy, I won't have to, you know, worry about losing too much money or whatever. Yeah, and then after uh, I graduate college, hopefully try to get back to Japan as either, you know, like an English teacher or something in the IT field, you know. Whatever comes up. So yeah, um, this video definitely went on a lot longer than uh, I originally anticipated, but that's just the way it goes. So yeah, um, this is the Andy Son, signing off for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye.